Hey everyone, welcome to a bit of a special video. Today I'm showing you how I build a house for fish stick in the jungle. So starting off, I'm gonna try to create a natural environment where we're gonna build the house, uh, which means basically placing a bunch of trees, placing these big trees, the palm trees, and these half palm trees, if you'd like to call them that. Just trying to create a nice little lagoon where we can build this sort of little shack for Mr. Fishstick to live in. And as you, you can see me go around placing these plants, basically placing every prop from the jungle vegetation uh, gallery. Just a bit here and there, you can see me go around. It's, it's all random, there's nothing, nothing planned here. I'm just placing them wherever I feel like placing plants. And you know, you see me go around. Here I'm placing these little flowers, the pink flowers, they're really nice. You know, pairing them together with the purple. It, it creates a very nice jungle atmosphere, you see? And, and there's nothing more to it than just placing plants wherever you feel like, essentially. Nothing is wrong. You can see me here, the thing about rocks, you place them where you like, they're growing out of the ground. Okay, so now it's time to create a foundation for the house. Um, I'm starting off trying to map out where the house is going to be with these wooden poles from the pirate wall gallery, I believe. Trying to get a sense of what shape the house is gonna have and what it's gonna look like, where it's gonna be situated. Uh, you see me building this wooden jetty sticking out of the ground uh, where the house is basically gonna be. So you can see we have a nice little lagoon, looking good, uh, some nice nature elements, just a very calm and, and peaceful place for a house to be, somewhere Fishstick would live. So here you see me add some walls to the house, it's starting adding windows and doors, uh, also trying to come up with an entrance, moving around the stairs a little bit, and of course... Mr. Fishstick need a boat, so, I mean, sure, fishes can swim, but I need some, some way to get to the main island from here, basically. Um, adding this little boat, making sure the rope is at the right angle, trying to get it connect to the jetty here. Um, as you can see in a second, from the tip of the boat to the top. I'm also placing this um, little thing on top of there, connecting the rope to it, so that, you know, just do keep the boat safe. Now onto the roof. I'm placing these. These are the roof pieces from the farm gallery, and also playing around a bit with multi-select here, I'm trying to get the roof in the right spot. And again, adding some more walls to the house, finishing up the outside, um, basically just the shell of the house with these pirate prefab walls. Now it's time to add some props to the house, my favorite part, decorating. And of course, need to add some barrels, some buckets, you know. I'm basically adding every prop I can find uh, from the pirate gallery. Anything from barrels, you see boxes, just anything that goes. Adding these little floating barrels underneath. See me add these fishes, add the boxes, and basically anything that I can find. Uh, just to give that nice feeling of abandonment, something that's been there for a long time. And it's a wooden stool here, just going through, placing props, adding this basket of bananas and apples, and also adding a bench outside, you know, somewhere to sit, and watching the sunset, perhaps. Adding some grass from the farm gallery, just to get that nice look. Adding an anchor on the side here, scaling up, sort of hanging off of one of the wooden poles. Just, you know, a nice little piratey detail. Moving on, I'm, I keep adding these props, um, from the, still from the pirate gallery. Adding some hanging crates and nets, basically anything that looks piratey at this point. Um, I think the more the merrier, almost. The, the more the better, I would say, when adding props. Um, just try to fill it out, give it as much life and, and body as possible. Just, just add as much as possible to the build without making it feel too crowded. Of course, adding the... Very important spyglass to the crate here that appears to have gone invisible. And also trying to place a shovel here next. You can see I'm just going for the feeling basically. That's that's me when I'm placing props. It's just trying to find the right feeling. Placing a hammock here next to the house. Making sure it connects nicely to the wooden pole and the palm tree. 
And a pirate fish, of course, needs cannonballs in his home. And here you see me just move around the props a bit, making sure them they're in the right spot. They look good. It feels balanced. It's not too crowded, but still, that that table should be here. And of course, if you know me, you know that I like to flip my furniture, especially these wooden tables. At least one's gonna be leaning or resting against the wall like this. Adding a bit of a treasure map to one of the wooden poles here to add that pirate feeling to the house. I think it adds a lot of detail. You see, I'm placing a wooden raft here. It's a, it's a upside down barn door from the farm PFAB. I soon realized that my teddy friend can't be sitting there all on his own. So I add a little boat for my teddy pirate matey. Uh, connecting him to the boat with a rope. Making sure it's scaled right and that it connects nicely. It doesn't clip through in any ways. That's just how I like to build. Pretty perfectionistic but it pays off I would say and also of course adding a little pirate flag to his little boat and here's a little building tip don't be afraid to place props out of place here you see me putting a painting on this wooden pole a painting that you would normally find inside of a house but I just think putting it out here adds a lot of life and variation to the house and now I'm doing the interior of the house here in a few shots adding some gold Add in this nice pirate desk and ta or table with a globe and the treasure map on it. Putting in this nice little wooden bed uh, from the pirate prefab. Uh, also adding some light. You see that casts a nice orange light on the room. Putting in a bookcase. I'm, I'm a fish of studies. I like to study a lot. Uh, you know, keep my books about me. Placing a painting. And don't worry. You see me here. I can't pick up this painting. It's stuck inside the wall. But don't, don't, don't trip. You know, just leave it there. Putting Uncle Benny, or what's left of him, on the wall. Um, oh, that might be Grandpa Sammy. I, I forget. We're so many in the family. Anyways, he's gonna be my company in this little lonely hut. Also placing another painting on this wall right here. I think it looks really good. I love these new pirate paintings. I'm really glad they added those. Of course, replacing this closet with a nice little nightstand next to the window. You know, feels a bit more balanced. And of course, every pirate needs somewhere to store his treasure. So I'm adding this nice wooden chest from the Ice Castle Gallery. And now it's time to add lights outside of the house. I'm putting down these nice pirate lanterns around the house. You know, hanging from the ceiling, these wooden beams, and the wooden poles holding up the house. You know, trying to find a balanced look. Something that I think looks good and feels good. Also adding one of these oil lamps to the table outside. You know if you're doing some late night studies or whatever. Adding some driftwood in the water as well to give that nice ambience. Adding a prop like the carpet to a build like this can add a lot of color and vibrance, which I think is important, especially with these colors such as brown and dark gray uh, dominating the build. Here I'm going for something that I like to call the Fortnite factor. You know, this silly cartoony feeling uh, that you see sometimes when playing Battle Royale. I'm adding shovels instead of oars. Uh, basically because there are no ore props in the game. So I'm finding a substitute. These shovels will do nicely as ores and uh, just add a fun little, you know, happy feeling to the entire thing. It's not that serious. You build what you want. It's all for good and fun, you know. And of course my little teddy friend is my trusty navigator navigating the seas when we're on our adventures. So uh, unfortunately I managed to clip the uh, map through the bottom of the boat, but I don't trip. I don't stress it I just place another one on top of it. You know stuff happens. It doesn't have to be perfect So sometimes it just gotta be hovering like this awkwardly above the boat and you know sometimes that's good enough And also of course adding a map to the wooden table outside on the jetty, you know for my own personal studies uh, Just moving around placing the lamp making sure it looks good and feels right to me and of course adding some chairs and one naturally has to lean against the wall, because otherwise it wouldn't be a Stormhawk build. And here you can see a nice little overview of what this crowded storage area looks like. Adding some chests and crates around the lagoon to add a nice feeling of abandonment and old, basically, as if time has passed. Adding a nice crate as a little table next to the bench. Placing a nice jug next to it on top of the crate as if someone's enjoying maybe some pineapple juice what do i know 
And again, the Fortnite factor, adding a mailbox to this house. Not something you would think you would find in the jungle like this, but you know, it's for fun. And of course, the most important prop of them all, the campfire. You can never neglect this piece. Nothing adds ambience like a lit campfire. So what I do here is I take a torch, I angle it, I scale it down a little bit, and I place it underground. I no-clip through, you know, just place it in the middle to make it look like the campfire is lit. Adding some more statues around the area. These little temple statues are nice. Adding some broken shards of vases just to add some nice ambience. This big banana right here is gonna make a lot more sense very soon. And there you have him, Mr. Fishstick himself, spying on the horizon, looking for treasure and adventures and pirates and whatever is coming, season nine, I've heard. And that's it, basically. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little build and that you hopefully learned something from it. If you have any questions or any suggestions on how I could improve this build or if you've built anything like this yourself, feel free to share it with me in the comments and I'd be happy to reply and check it out if you got anything to show me. If you would like to see more speed builds on my channel, let me know in the comments below. Drop a little like so I know whether to do more or not. If you enjoyed this video, you can support me with code STORMHAWK in the item shop. It really helps me out a lot and allows me to make these maps and videos for you. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.